720. 720. This is tough. This is pressure. Yeah, this is a lot of pressure. <laughs> And after we sing this song, we're going to take a break and the kids are going to uh, sing a few songs. I think that's the closing. Oh, yes. Closing. You know, we're going to do this one a little bit later as well. So <laughs> if you've already called a name or number two, if you'll hold off and let someone else call it out. Five. So, yes. 576. 576. Thank you, Gladys. You don't have to turn many pages. <laughs> My faith looks up to thee. Okay, we're going to take a quick break from this and come back to it in just a minute. But I'm going to invite the, a few of our kids that were here for uh, the music camp last week want to sing a couple songs for you that they did So at this time. So Samantha, Zach, and Zoe, and Claire, if you'll come forward. This is a small number of what we had, but uh, they're willing to sing it out the best they can. So. <laughs>
that they do a good job for only being four. <laughs> But well, we are going to continue our hymn sing at this time. So if you had a song and you didn't get called on yet, go ahead and raise your hand and call it out. Yes, in the back. indulge me for a second I had to make a major decision here and I've chosen to eat the rest of the week so uh, we're gonna sing a song my wife wants <laughs> yeah, and that's 342 thank you assurance Jesus is mine. Spirit. 
90. How many more you want to go? It's two, three more. Great is thy faithfulness. And unfortunately, this is going to have to be our last one today. But I will talk to Pastor Tim and see if we can do this again soon, okay? <laughs> decided to sing How Great Thou Art today as a solo, but please join along with me and sing it, okay? i 
are filled with love and thankfulness for you this morning as we sing your praises. We're thankful that you're our Father, our God, still in control, so that no matter what happens here on earth, good or bad, you will not leave us alone. You celebrate with us when our lives reflect a season of celebration. You cry with us and hold us up when our lives are filled with pain. You keep us steady when our lives are filled with uncertainty or fear, and even when we're not steady but fall and crumble. You're there to pick us up and to take us in your arms. We love you. Hear our prayers of intercession this morning for those who need your healing. We pray for Norman Lay, and we ask that you walk with Judy as you lift her up in hope and strength. We pray for Loretta Schiller. We pray for Mary Lane this morning. Thank you for progress in Chuck Freer's health, and we thank you for their presence here this morning. We ask that you continue to heal and strengthen him and Bets. We pray, Lord, for Harminder, Amber, Conchado, and Kim. They are finishing their professional pilot program. Lord, we pray for all who mourn. We pray for those who travel for safe trips. We pray for our missionaries, Barbara and Ken. We pray for our brothers and sisters in the Middle East. And we pray for our enemies, Lord, because you tell us to. Hear our prayers of obedience to you, Lord, in this matter. We pray for each other, and we pray for you to continue your work in us. May our hearts and minds place you first in the center of our lives, that all we do will be a blessing to you, Lord, pleasing you and blessing others. Receive now, Father, the prayer that unites us with each other and with you, the prayer that you, Lord Jesus, taught us to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.